Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm continuing the six things I'm looking forward to series. Um, I've done three of them already, obviously from Alton Towers, Chessington and Blackpool Pleasure Beach and this one is going to be for Drayton Manor. I'm due to go there um, this Saturday if you're watching it when it first came out. Um, so I'm just doing this um, in advance for that. Also another thing I just want to clarify before we get started with this video, I am filming this on the GoPro with the GoPro's mic, I couldn't get a mic sorted for it for now, so it's just the GoPro's mic we are going for, uh, but just tell me what you think to it, um, is this quality better than normal? Normally I do record it on my Mac, um, which is sat over there at the minute, my Mac's built in camera, um, but I thought I'll use the camera, I use this one when I'm out and about at the parks vlogging. So tell me, do you think this, just for normal videos, this quality is good? Um, you do get quite a wide angle uh, lens, which isn't great for it. Um, and I know the mic quality might not be the greatest, but tell me how it compares to my other videos that have been filmed straight from the Mac. Anyway, let's just get straight into it. Um, and this is in no particular order, these six things, but the first one is Accelerator. Um, obviously it's been refurbished for this season, well I say refurbished, it's been rethemed we'll say. Um, the Ben 10 IP has run out on it so they rethemed it to Accelerator. From what I've seen it's, from the outside it's pretty tacky, it's got a kind of graffiti-esque theme going on with it, um, but from the inside it does look really good, that Q line. Obviously the Ben 10 queue line was pretty good as well, but this queue line really does look good. It's kind of like an old car garage style sort of thing, uh, which does look really great. Unfortunately, they haven't had a chance yet to repaint the track. I think it's kind of like a Galactica kind of thing where they've rethemed it and the track colour doesn't really suit it, so it might need a repaint in the future. Maybe an orange purple in there, I don't know what will work, but definitely not green because they've been using lots of reds and oranges and all these vibrant colours, uh, obviously with the graffiti theme from the outside. Next up, this one is a little bit of an odd one. Um, it's not something I'm looking forward to because it looks like it's going to be good. It's actually G-Force um, and it's... I kind of just want to get on this one, obviously for the cred, uh, which you'll see later on in this video, um, but I just, because it gets a lot of stick um, within the theme park enthusiast community. I do just want to see what is wrong with it, if it's as bad as people say. Um, so I guess we'll find that out when we go to. And of course subscribe if you haven't already to be notified of when the vlog from Drayton Manor. Hopefully I'll be able to vlog this Saturday. Um, so you can see my reviews right there and right then with GeForce at Drayton Manor. Next up it is Shockwave. Um, and this one also isn't said to be that good, um, but I mean, it's a stand-up coaster, it's I believe the only stand-up in Europe and the only stand-up in the world to have a zero G roll, um, so it will be interesting. It is said to be quite painful, especially for men, um, because of the kind of outcrop thing they have, just to make sure it's not like completely open, you could just slip out. Um, they need somewhat of a seat, obviously. Um, so because of that it can be quite painful apparently for men uh, but it also be interesting because obviously uh, Shockwave has the kind of B&M style track um, which B&M are famous for now but it is actually technically an intimid because this was kind of around the initial stages of B&M um, I'll talk more about it within the vlog but pretty much B&M were a part of Intimate at the time um, and then they split off and took their track design with them. Alright, next up we have The Haunting. Um, it looks like a great attraction, not as good as Hex in my opinion uh, from what I've seen of it, but it does look like they've done a great job on the recent refurbishments the ride had, uh, so it's going to be good to get on that. As you've already seen, I've just said two of the coasters, um, GeForce and Shockwave, um, but there's actually Two others that I've never been on there because surprisingly the last time I actually went Drayton Manor was when I was about five, I would say four or five. 
Um, it was around the time uh, Thomas Land was all becoming a thing. Uh, I did get on the Troublesome Trucks ride then. I remember absolutely hating it because I was terrified of rides back then. <laughs> but I did technically get that credit there. So there is only four new creds for me to get unless I'm somehow missing one. Um, but there's obviously the Buffalo Ride, there's Accelerator, which I've already said, Shockwave, which I've already said, and G-Force, which I've already said. Hopefully it does look like I'm going to get four creds. However, you never know, operations might be a bit iffy and one of the rides may be down. So it may only work out being three, two or one. But hopefully they'll have the full four out. Um, because according to the website, it is technically peak season now. Um, so great news hopefully they'll have everything open and finally we have the flat ride selection there this does seem to be Drayton Manor's strong point um, obviously they've got Maelstrom, Pandemonium, uh, the Bounty Pirate Ship if you want to class that as a major thrill flat I wouldn't but I mean some of you might want to uh, so make that decision yourself um, there's Air Race obviously as well which looks pretty good. It looks better from what I've seen um, than Sky Force at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So it'll be interesting to see how those two compare. And of course, many people say it's the best ride of the park. I think it looks like it could be too. Um, Intamin Drop Towers, I've only done one, but the one I did was very forceful and they're really, really good rides. Um, obviously it's Apocalypse. Uh, hopefully that fifth tower will be open soon. Um, so it'll be interesting to get on Apocalypse. One last thing I would like to add is unfortunately Stormforce 10 won't be operating when I go. Obviously it's going to be closed all the way until uh, they've said on the website the start of June. So um, we'll just have to wait till then and I'll get on it at a later date. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. That was the top six things I'm looking forward to for Drayton Manor this Saturday. What do you like best about the park? Tell me in the comments below and also tell me do you prefer this camera quality and audio quality or do you prefer me to just carry on filming it on my MacBook? Um, it's up to you. Tell me in the comments and until next time guys, goodbye. <laughs>